Hi scholars, it's Ms. Gonzalez. Thank you for joining me again. I have to apologize that it has been so long since I recorded a read aloud, but I do hope that you have been watching the longer district video lessons that I've been helping to make um, with, along with two other teachers. I will put the link below. So if you just click right below and read the description, there will be a link to those videos. Those are really good. So I hope that you're able to watch those. Okay, today I'm going to read to you all about robots. We haven't read an all about book in a while, so I thought it'd be good. And as we read, we are going to notice some words that have AI in the middle of them and AY at the end. Uh, an example would be brain. We see the AI right there. And then let's see if you can think of a word that ends in A-Y, like A. There are some that you say every day. Oh, I just said one. Okay, day. So as I read, pay attention to those. And if you want to, while you're listening, you can try to write them down as you see them. And then I'll talk about all of them at the end. I'll give you a hint. There are four in this list and four in this list. So I already put one on each, but there are three more. Okay. <clears throat> so this is all about robots. Robot dog. These toy dogs are robots. A robot is a machine that does some kind of work. A robot dog has a good job. Its job is to be a fun toy. And over here it says, can I play? Did you see a word on this page that ends in A-Y? Take a good look. Okay. There is a computer inside the robot dog. The computer acts like a brain. It tells the robot dog what to do. The computer in, in this robot tells it how to walk and bark. This robot dog can even do tricks. And then over here in the caption, it says, you can see the computer inside this robot dog. Okay. This section is called robot jobs. Robots are good workers. They do not get sick or tired and they do not need to get paid to do their jobs. This one is called robots and cars. Robots do lots of different jobs. Some robots help make cars. The robots lift heavy car parts. They drill holes and use tools that are very hot. Robots even spray the paint on cars. Okay, and we see in the picture, it's pointing to the orangish red things and those are robots that are working on the cars. This section is called Robots in the Sea. Robots can work in places that are dangerous for people to work. This robot works deep in the sea. The robot can stay in the water day after day. It does not get cold. The robot does not need to breathe air. And over here it says, this robot is lifted out of the sea after making a deep dive. Have you found any AY and AI words yet? We've seen a few, but I haven't said anything. Hopefully you're finding some. Okay, this robot explores a ship that sank at sea many years ago. Some robots use special tools to collect sea plants, rocks, and animals. The robots take pictures of sharks and other fish. There are so many kinds of robots.
This section is called Robots in Space. Robots have even gone into space. This robot is called a rover. It went to the planet Mars. The rover does not have eyes. It has lots of cameras instead. The cameras keep the rover from getting lost or crashing into things. The robot took pictures for scientists back on Earth. So that's a really big robot. This section is called robot contests. Some schools have robot contests. Students make their own robots. The students think up ways to make the best robot. The winner gets a prize. Okay, and that's our book all about robots. So let's look back at our lists and hopefully you found a few that you wrote down while I was reading. On page three, the robot dog said, can I play? So play is a, a Y word. A and then on this page um, we see it says the computer acts like a brain so we had I had already written brain as an example um, so we've got that one but on the next page it talks about how robots don't even have to get paid for the work they do. So look at how we spell paid right here. Aid, paid, P-A-I-D. So we have that A-I. So we can add that to our list over here. Paid. Okay. And then this one had a lot on it, the one about robots and cars, because it talks about how it helps to spray paint. So we have two words there. If you look at spray, spray ends in A-Y, and then right here, paint, there's an A-I. So we can add both of those to our list. Over here, we're gonna put paint. And over here, we'll put spray. Okay, and I said that there are four in each, so that means we have one more for each on each list that we need to find. Okay, so on the page about robots in the sea, it talks about how the robot can stay in the water day after day. It can stay day after day. Okay, I put day as our example, so we already have that one. But what about stay? So we have st, 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 a. Okay, so we have all four for the AY list. We have day, play, spray, and stay. And then let's look at this page again. Look at the last sentence. It says, the robot does not need to breathe air. Look at that word air. Right here. It has an AI. Okay, so that's our last word for the AI side. A-I-R. And we have brain, paid, paint, and air. Okay, so the last thing I have for you is a question that I would like you to write the answer to. And you can send me a picture of what you wrote or you can record yourself saying the answer and you can send me the video. Okay, my question is, if you could have a robot, what kind of robot would you choose? There are so many kinds, right? Uh, there are ones that go in the ocean. There are ones that play with you. There are ones that help clean your house. I would probably pick that. <laughs> there are ones that go far away to dangerous places and take pictures. 
They're ones that work on cars. So you have a lot of options. Okay, so what kind of robot would you choose? And then I want you to describe two things that your robot would do to help you. Okay, so which kind of robot would you choose? And then what are two things that your robot would do to help you? So I'm just gonna put this here so you can see the question again. And it says again, if you could have a robot, what kind of robot would you choose? Describe two things that your robot would help you do. I'm sorry, would do to help you. Okay, and again, you can make a video um, recording yourself saying the answer to your question, or you can write it down and take a picture. And you can send those to me through Class Dojo, and you can earn some Dojo points. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks so much for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye.